Good morning. We got a quick video for you today. We have just been busy, busy visiting. Uh, had an unexpected visit from my cousin from Washington. So we've been palling around with her and we actually thought we would be leaving Oregon this next week um, and leaving the coast in particular. But these temperatures are insane. So not here. No. Well, they are insane. It's been amazing weather here on the Oregon coast since we've been here it's just been absolutely perfect weather yeah so but heading east even just 20 miles east of here it's going to be 100 degrees this coming week so yeah. we're not making any moves <laughs> we'll stay at least another week and then we'll reassess but um so yeah we just want to check in with you guys yep. so the the travel plan which is not really much of a plan but the travel Thought. Thought is we'll be leaving the Oregon coast here in Newport in a week and a half. Yeah, sure. Possibly. Yes. And then we're going to make our way up to Vancouver, Washington yeah. to visit our boys. Yeah. And then we're going to work our way east. Yes. And uh, no real plan. Uh, I think we're going to go through part of Idaho. We haven't been through for a long time. Um, maybe back up into Wyoming. <clears throat> and then from Wyoming, we are contemplating um, working our way up towards Michigan. Uh, we, yeah. we were there, was it four years ago? At least. Yeah, and we explored like Upper Peninsula, several different coastlines, Mackinac Island. That was called right? Yeah. The island with no cars on it. Yeah. But um, we had a fish fry. Yeah, so we really enjoyed the, the coastline. And so I'm thinking I might want to try some walleye fishing in Lake Huron. Yes. And then we don't know much after that. We're eventually going to be into Florida again for the winter, but when we leave the Great Lakes, it all depends on timing and weather, but... And leaf peeping. Yeah, so um, we're not going to go all the way over to New England, but the fall colors in the Appalachians, uh, Tennessee... Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I'm thinking maybe Tennessee... Could be. Um, and then back down to Florida for the winter. So that's kind of the the loose plan. Yeah. But it's getting pushed out an extra week at least. Yeah, so. that's okay. But that's uh, uh that's that's our ability with a rig like this. We're not locked into reservations and we can just kind of free wheel. Yeah, I I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have two modifications. Uh we wanted to get these projects wrapped up before we hit the road um so yeah join us for those okay what are we doing <laughs> well we bought these coat hooks we're gonna put a coat, coat hook right here yeah. for the short coats for our pistol coats no um yeah. we've been struggling with um where to keep our extra shoes in the camper um and we take them off and put them here, but then we trip over them coming in and out. It's not yeah, ideal. We have, we have running shoes, walking shoes, flip flops, and we keep them all. We have a shoe bin, a little exterior cabinet on the camper where we keep all our shoes. But it's nice to have like running shoes, and it's nice to have two pairs in the camper so you have to go outside and get your shoes. Right. So we're just trying to find a place where we each have two shoes. Um, we don't have a lot of floor space, so. Um, we're always stepping on each other's shoes and they get in the way and yeah. anyway it's irritating. So this is our solution. So we're gonna try to hang shoes. Do you have a shoe? Uh, I have a shoe. How about, how about... Here, I have a shoe. How about, how about we mount it first then we'll show you what we think it's gonna work. Okay. But what I want to do is instead of screwing these into the wall, um, this is, this is... I want to find out if it's actually going to work before we do something like that. I don't like to put holes in the walls and have it. Yeah, we want to test uh, where we put them to see if it's an ideal spot. Right. So we're hopefully going to be able to hang four shoes in this wall, and uh, we don't do. We just kind of walk through here. We're not doing anything in here than passing through. So I think it's going to be out of the way. We kind of played it a little bit, um, and to make it uh, more temporary, I'm going to attach them to the wall with these heavy duty velcro command strips so obviously if we bump them or hit them they're going to fall off and have to be remounted but i don't want to drill holes in it because i'm not sure this is going to work yeah makes sense makes perfect sense okay so i've got 
the locations marked. Now I'm going to put the command strips on. Okay. <clears throat> so that's how it goes up. So yeah. I want these facing down. So I only had enough command strips to put two on each bracket. Um, I don't know if that's going to be enough to hold bumpy roads, um, but I can always put two more on there. Or if we like it, a couple of screws. Yeah. That would be great. So, so typically I have my shoes I'm wearing for the day, and then Irene's shoe that she's wearing. She likes her new boots that she I got. I got new boots. So, um, Sometimes I just like my flip flops and then my running shoes. So Let's as you can see, up. I can put them under the table or on the floor, or we can put them all in the outside bin. But it's a you got to put shoes on to go out to get the shoes you want to wear, and then take them back anyway. Yeah, we'll see. Well, we this like, is just a test. We like lots of shoes. So load it up. I'll load it up, and then we'll walk in and out. This is working pretty slick, actually. Mm -hmm. Can we patent this? Yeah, I don't know. No, your boots are too big, so. Yeah, but I think. How about we do this? Put your laces inside. This eight foot laces you have on your boots. And those will set right there. I mean, if that works, it's gonna be pretty good. Okay, well, why don't you come out and we'll see. <laughs> yeah, okay, go in. <laughs> okay. Too heavy. My boots are too heavy. We need more. We need to drill drill them in. I think we should drill them in. Okay, let's just do that. Okay. Then we're not farting around with it. And it won't have to be a very big screw. So no. It's just enough to hold it in place. <laughs> now your heavy boots won't mess this nice. thing up. Nice. So excited. Get these off the floor. Yeah, we don't have enough floor space. And so the boots were like kicking around here. I just got them. I didn't need them. Shouldn't have got them because. I live in a camper, Life short but... by the boots, honey. <laughs> but... Life short. They go well with your green jumpsuit. Oh, yeah. I do have the green jumpsuit with me. I haven't worn that in a while. Uh, any special occasion coming up? Uh, Ooh, you've got a birthday next month. I have to break out the green jumpsuit. Yeah? Maybe. Or the pink Levi's I just got. Okay. That ain't going nowhere. Let's do this for Will. <laughs> Is that how you normally walk out? <laughs> yeah, I just pretended they weren't there and I didn't think about them. Really? Yeah. I like it. That worked out really slick. Okay. So what are we doing? Next mod. We have one more. Oh, I forgot. What I'm gonna do is I, I wanted to get a new slinky, the stinky slinky, the sewer black and gray tank. Hose. You, you know what I'm talking about, the hose. I wanted to get a um, stronger, more durable one. Yeah, um, we're still using the one that just came with the camper. It and is it's flimsy and um, well, I'm going to show you something. When when you dump the black tank, since we're are up high on a four-wheel drive, our slinky goes way down. Mm -hmm. And I have to very slowly let the black and the gray tanks open because it's it 
pulls all that weight and it stretches that accordion slinky down to the, to the ground and just the thought of that breaking we don't want to think about that no i Let don't alone live through that so i looked around did some reading and it appears that the rhino makes a very durable at least that's the reviews i read so i wanted to get the most durable slinky we could have our hose fits in a tube that goes under here but it's only to here it's capped off so okay. the interior length of that is 42 and a half inches um, the original wimpy slinky you can see how compared yeah. these are definitely different um, this I still have like six inches of um, space in there so I okay. wanted to get the longest possible slinky I could get and the one that was that I could buy short on this was shorter than that so there was i had to buy the longer one that's too long right. but you can cut it you can cut this end off and they sell a the, piece to reattach it so i will cut this off yep. at the length i want yep and so when i screw this on since the interior um depth is 42 and a half inches i'll try to make this about 41 inches so yeah, we discovered the new rhino hoses. They actually glue the ends on. So this is not reusable, which is why then you have to buy the extra piece if you're adjusting the length. And see if I can cut through the wire with this. I actually didn't realize there was wire inside. I mean, that makes perfect sense, right? I hope I get this right. Okay, so now, let me screw this piece. That is a locking ring. Oh, yeah, we're going to need Vaseline. Here we go. And they say on the Rhino website, there's a video on how to do this. So if you want to watch how to do it right, watch that video, not this. Um, yeah, you need a generous amount of Vaseline or petroleum jelly to... This actually prevents it from leaking after you reattach. So we want to make sure we get enough of that in there. We do not want leaks at the dump station. We've seen plenty of accidents. Seven years full time. We've seen some things. We've seen some things. <laughs> Which is why we, we went never, to... Well, actually, the worst thing that happened for us, we were back, this was probably six years ago or so when we had the Road Trek Zion. Yeah. It had the macerator. Yeah. And the original macerators weren't that They good. had some issues. They were pretty thin and... Uh, I sprung a pinhole leak while I was using the macerator, but luckily it was during the gray tank dump. Yeah. Because it's such a pinhole and macerator shoots out with so much force that it was shooting a, a tiny stream about 30 feet across the empty parking lot. Yeah. So that was We don't not, want that. That was not fun. I wish I had a paper towel or something. Oh, that's my job. Okay. And it screws counterclockwise. See that? As far as it goes. Okay, the end of the line. Then you turn this locking ring. Okay. And tighten it up. <clears throat> Tight as you can. Okay. Good as new. Well, you know what? We need to go dump tank, so we should try this bad boy out. Well, let's see if I cut the right length, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> now, we will have an upcoming video at some point um, about composting toilet versus black and gray tank since we've had a pretty lengthy time with both um we got some opinions on that so that'll be down the road here 
There it goes. Moment of truth. We got room. It's going to screw shut. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good job. I sure hope I did this right. <laughs> I sure hope you did too. Let's, Let's see if this new fitting works, eh? Yeah. Go slow. Looking good. Didn't even flex. Good job, babe. Well, that worked pretty slick. So far, so good. Okay, first time. That worked well. <laughs> we'll see as we go down the road. We'll also see with the shoe rack if we uh, ended up putting it in the right spot. But I will say I've been in out of there a couple times as we dump tanked and stuff. And um, I didn't even notice it was there. So I'm pretty excited about that. Just getting them up it's off the floor. It's the simple, simple things in camper life. No, it really is. It expands our space a lot without having shoes kicking around. Yeah, like when I wanted to go for a run, I had to put on my shoes, go outside, get my running shoes, come back in, Changing take my shoes, shoes off. Oh, the oh, woes. So miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get up and put the shoes on I got. Yeah, we, feel, we got a problem, we found a solution. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we'll be uh, on the Oregon coast another week and a half or so, and then we'll be bugging out of here. Uh, we'll talk to you down the road. Carry on. Carry on. Thanks for watching. And a very special thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. Join us over on Patreon for extra videos and more content. Check out our website or Amazon for our pistol book. Carry on. Carry on. Thank you.